up YouTube and what you know my name is Domino with the zero and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal the completely randomized Nuzlocke episode number 16. In the last episode which was on Friday we made our way to Olivine City. It wasn't easy as I think we lost a couple party members it's been a couple days since I've played I did do a grinding montage but I do believe we lost a couple members if I remember correctly. Um, so if you missed that episode or any of the episodes last week, because I think, slight spoilers, I think every episode last week had at least one death. That might not be true, but I think three or four or five, all of them, well, something, had deaths. There were a lot of deaths, but make sure you check that out. Now, uh, in today's episode, you've already seen the grinding montage, so you know a little bit about what happened, but that was the most tedious, ridiculous unfun grinding montage that I've done. I did it earlier today. Normally I do grinding montage straight into episode. I did not do that today because it was frustrating. Um, the new Pokemon that we got are not the strongest out there, uh, but we're gonna have to try and make it work. So if you're excited for today's episode and excited for the Pokemon Crystal to be back, go ahead and hit that like button uh, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, if you've been watching this, Please share the video. I'm asking, I'm just asking you to share the video out. Um, share it with one person that you think might enjoy it. This is the main series. I'd love to get it over 10 consistent views. And I know that's a small goal, uh, but we got to start small to get somewhere. So share the video out. Help me out. Help me out. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, so let's go ahead and do a team recap, which by the way, if you don't like the team recaps, um, you can skip over them. You know, I put the time at the beginning of grinding montages for you to skip straight to the episode. All you got to do is skip about a minute if you don't want to see the team update, uh, but today you probably want to stay. <clears throat> but let's take a look. First up, we have the strongest member of our team. That's Sarah, the grass poison type Dragonite. Still rocking Scratch, uh, scratch Rolling Kick, Dizzy Punch, Octazooka, and holding the Amulet Coin because we need money, but we don't really need money. So if we get a new uh, held item for her, uh, that might go away with great stats. I'm just loving it. Level 26. Next up is the, actually, you know what? This might be the most surprising member of our team. Clovis was amazing for us in the last episode. He was just awesome. But he is Clovis, the flying type swine up with sludge, the broken cut, bone meringue and mud slap. I could run this Clovis with just cut and I'd be super happy. Also holding the amulet coin. Again, we just need to get, we just need to find something to take its spot. Um, with pretty, I mean, low stats, I guess, um, but he, I don't know. He makes up for it. Clovis is, I really like Clovis. Next up is, ooh, might be my favorite member. Actually, that's not true. I guess Dragonite is one more favorite than Heracross is. But we have Rajiv, the Ice Ground type Heracross. He is holding the Quick Clock, because as you'll find out in just a minute, he is pretty slow. But he has Cross Chop, which is super strong. Ground move. He has Dizzy Punch, Thunderbolt, Soft Boiled. Oh, oh, oh. And you can see there his special attack is insane. Special defense is great. His speed, terrible. That's why he's holding the quick clock. Next up, we have Bronca, the psychic type cadaver. At the beginning of the grinding montage, I took the Nidorina that was Bronca and I used a Moonstone on it. From the Moonstone, it evolved into Bulbasaur. And from Bulbasaur, I think it evolved straight into Kadabra after that. I don't think there was anything else in the middle. But this thing almost died so many times, and I almost just let it die. Ugh. Anyway, he has Fury Attack, Bone Meringue, Bone Club, Karate Chop. He's probably going to die soon. We're probably going to lead with him in this episode, just so he can die. I got to remember that his attack is, but whatever. I don't care. Next up is... um. Not quite as weak as Bronca, uh, but hasn't quite shown me anything just yet. But we have so Sophronia. There we go. Sophronia, the grass electric type Machoke. So this started out as Snubble. Snubble at level like 22 or 23, I guess, evolved into this Machoke. So I haven't even gotten to see how strong it is. Uh, okay, Kadabra, thank you. Uh, but we have High Jump Kick, which is terrible. We have Sleep Powder, Triple Kick, which is terrible and sing so I don't even know if we can use this thing right now there is that's good special defense so that was a nice five minute team recap my goodness the whole first nine minutes of this episode is just gonna be spent um, on this page 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, we did just make it to Olivine City, so let's explore some. And actually, let's just, you know what, let, let's let's not pretend like we don't know. Uh, so we gotta get strength, and then there's something else in this city. Where is it? Okay, I'm not, I'm not going that way just yet. We'll go that way in a minute. Where's the house I'm thinking of? Is it up here? Is this? Oh, here it is. If you have a Kabutops, would you like to trade for a Pichu? If I had a Kabutops, I'd, depending on how good or bad it was, I might consider that. Okay, isn't there somebody that gives me a fishing rod? Because I want to I wanna get our new encounter. Oh, here he is. Yes. Good rod. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna come right, um, uh, actually, let's, let's come up here. This looks good, this looks good. Let's go ahead and fish for our encounter. I probably should have done this before I, controller, I probably should have done this before, um, uh, not even a nibble. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, for question of the day, I'm just gonna make it up afterwards, and then we can talk about it in the comments below. So we have a Jinx, which... How do I feel about this? I don't... Not too bad. Honestly. Let's go with Boomerang. Am I dead? I would love to be dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Alright, let's go with another... Am I dead? Okay. I'm dead. I, you know what? Can I just say it? I kind of want Bronca to die. Because he has 12 levels until he's anything good. Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! Stay! I just realized... He's dead. <sighs> I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't. Uh, you know, you might think that I did that on purpose, but I really didn't. Alright, stay in the ball. <laughs> and Jinx stays in the ball immediately afterwards. That's it. Alright, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not torn up about it as I'm pulling up my uh, random name generator. Um, name generator. Okay, so I'm not torn up about it. Like I said, Bronco was just frustrating, but I really didn't want to just like give it up. Like if I died, I died. But that was kind of, that was kind of silly. Okay, here we go. Generator name. So we have Jinx, the human shaped Pokemon. It has several different cry patterns, each of which seems to have its own meaning. Isn't that every Pokemon? Doesn't every Pokemon have... Um, doesn't every Pokemon have, like, varying cries? We have Patka. 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 The Jinx. So let's run over here. <laughs> That's so crazy. I can't believe I let that happen. I'm... I'm, I'm you know what I am upset about that about? I'm gonna have to... F that's gonna... That's gonna involve more, uh, editing. That's what I'm upset about. Oh, Bronca. Nah, 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 And like I was saying, it was gonna take him 12 levels to evolve anyway. He doesn't evolve until level 37 in the randomizer. So... Uh, but yeah, I realized... Right before it happened, I yelled out, Oh, I just realized. I just realized that Jinx had only revealed two of the moves. So, we have Putka, the Ghost Grass type Jinx. Ghost Grass. So, we're weak against Psychic, which is pretty common. We're weak against Dark. Uh, we're weak against Fire, Flying. Yeah, this thing's not going to last long. But we have Aurora Beam, Wrap, Giga Drain, and Lick. Alright, I think Patka will be pretty good. Um... Uh, Low defense, good speed, good attack, good special attack. We're going to try and keep Patco alive as long as we can. Uh, but for this episode, we're going to go ahead. You know what? We're doing it. Oh, no, no, no. Not with that moveset. Not with that moveset. Here, let's just... Let's just get crazy today. All right. Um, I could get a bunch more encounters. What did we do in the last episode? Nah, let's make some, uh, let's make some progress today. How much time have we uh, have we done so far today? Okay, so let's run through this place real quick. <clears throat> oh, hello. 
Okay, cool. <clears throat> so this is the original lighthouse. There are all kinds of ideas about this lighthouse in other games. All right, let's go with this. Good, bad, bad, bad! Is that my fault? Is that my fault? Is that my fault? Is there anything I could have done? Like, okay, I could have switched. I should have switched. Maybe I shouldn't have been leading with a level 20. Maybe I shouldn't have stayed in on a level 22 when I was only playing a level 20. I'm mad now. Yeah, Rajiv. Take it to him, Rajiv. Rajiv, thank you. Take it to him, Rajiv. Trying to learn horn attack? Sure. Get rid of... Ah, uh, there's no point in soft-boiled. I have healing items. I'm so upset. I'm, like, genuinely really upset. Honestly, I might just let Rajiv run all the way through this. Because... Man, this is so scary. Alright, let's, let's heal up. So, like I was trying to say a long time ago, um, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm just going to come up... Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop. Uh, I'm going to come up with a question of the day, like, after the episode. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, it doesn't affect. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Alright, I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. Sarah, come out. You used Hydro Pump? What is happening to me? My team is getting f uh, destroyed. I Don't worry about what I was about to say. Uh, I've definitely been watching too much King Nappy. But, uh, did I just call him King Nappy? That was weird. Anyway, we are nearing, I, I guess, sort of kind of nearing the end here. We are going to finish this up, so we'll be in the 20s for our time. That's okay. All right, you got to stop missing because you're going to you're gonna get killed because you miss. And I'm not going to feel bad. If you die because you miss, I'm not going to feel bad, Rajiv. I'm just not. I don't feel bad when people miss. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's a dragon type horn attack. All right. Uh, I mean, I could just take it out with. Uh, I see that quick claw. I see that quick claw popping. <clears throat> Man, I can't believe we've lost two Pokemon again. Again. Okay, I have to remember that. Okay, <laughs> what I was trying to say was I have to remember that the Quick Claw sometimes goes off and gives me a little um, false sense of security, if you will. Uh, whoops, ah, uh, I didn't mean to do that. So we're just gonna spam Cross Chop for the rest of the game since we can't seem to keep anything alive. Okay, that's not effective. I saw it that time. 
Oh, I guess I could have pre so if ground is effective, then it's flying, so I should use Dizzy Punch. That was the logic that should have gone through my head. Hello. These people gotta calm down. I gotta switch off Rajiv. He's almost at level 30, so we'll let him get to level 30 and then we'll switch up. I found a Leaf Stone. I found TM43. What is that? Sacred Fire. That's, that's not bad. Okay, let's try up here. Let's run over here. This will be Rajiv's last battle for the day. Gone. All right, so Rajiv, I th all of our minds are make like these three are making a serious case for being our strongest, and that's really cool. We're gonna go ahead and give Sarah back her amulet coin, amulet coin, whatever. Pick up a max potion. Sure, I won't complain. All right, Sarah. One shot. Ooh, not one shot. Just use beat up. If I miss, I die. He just used beat up. I don't think I've seen that move, like... I don't think I had seen that move when I was younger. Because I don't remember ever seeing it do something like it just did. Where it said Magnemite attacked, Vulpix attacked, uh, Azumarill attacked. It's, it's a pretty cool move. We got a friend ball. Alright, what else is up here? I forgot. Isn't there like an item? Yeah. Found a charcoal. I don't think I have any fire type moves. All right. <clears throat> this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Am Amphi unattended. May I ask you to give me some medicine for me, <laughs> please? <laughs> I love Jasmine. All right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Today we took on the lighthouse, but in doing so, we suffered two two more casualties. One of which we didn't care about. The other, I wanted to see what Patka had to offer. It was a new thing. Now, here's what we're doing in the next episode. So again, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button and share the video. Please help me out. Help me out. In the next episode, which will be tomorrow, um, we're going to make our way down to Cyanwood. Yeah, that's right. We'll make our way down to Cyanwood. In doing so, there's going to be like three or four new encounters, all kinds of battles, all, probably a bunch of death. It's going to be crazy. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all of that. I do believe that's it. So again, the question of the day, I don't know what it's going to be, but it will be on the layout. Answer it, answer it in the comments below, and I will respond. Uh, I would love to talk to everyone that watches the videos uh, in the comments below. And we will see you tomorrow with more Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Have a blessed day.